Draft week, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially draft week. So that means for every video this week, I must check Tankathon to see who it's thinking we're going to be picking up. And officially right now, it says at 19, we got Isaiah Jackson. And at 21, we got my guy, Zaire Williams. Personally, I would love a combination of two. I know a lot of people are like, CK, we need a shooter. CK, we need a guard. Look, Taj is still, he might be coming back, but we're not sure if Taj is coming back. Nerlens might be jumping ship to get money somewhere else. We don't have bigs. We do not have a big. I would love to get one of these young bigs on this team. People got mad at me for saying I'm okay for Kai Jones. We need every everything all right and i would love to get a piece of youth at every position now for up to me because looking at this you can see at eight at 20 excuse me trey murphy would be going to the um atlanta hawks if we're up to me i'd love to see us get trey and zaire i really love zaire williams upside i know a lot of people probably don't know too much about the kid i feel like the upside is there he did play at stanford i never was a fan of the stanford fit for him uh, so i really feel like there's a lot more upside than what you're seeing in zaire williams game zaire williams was a top 10 pick before he played a game at Stanford so I just really believe that that's somebody that we need to take advantage of but I also see Sharif Cooper at 22 so any combination of a Trey Murphy Sharif Zaire Sharif Isaiah Jackson Sharif or, or Zaire I, I, I'm, I'm cool with any of those combinations if we stay put but there's still the rumors that we could be moving up alright so let me know your thoughts about all that in the comments below but ladies and gentlemen before we can even talk about anything about the draft which we will a lot up until the draft on Thursday. I do want to talk about some of these crazy, crazy rumors around the players that could help us right now. Obviously, the number one pickup for the Knicks are, is a point guard. We need a point guard. And it's no secret who I've been campaigning for, and that's Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball, 23 years old, upcoming point guard. I want Lonzo Ball as my starting point guard. But a lot of you guys have been trying to convince me on, you know, like the Colin Sexton trade rumors. But even if we get Colin Sexton, do we know if he's even a point guard? But that's neither here nor there. Um, but there's tons of point guards in the pool right now that could go to the New York Knicks that can help us right now. We have guys like the old heads, like Kyle Lowry, Chris Paul, uh, Mike Conley. We got a lot of older point guards that are available for the Knicks right now. Then there's the other younger guards that could help us, but we're still a little uncertain about if we want to pay them that kind of money if they're worth that kind of money and that starts with my boy Lonzo Ball Dennis Schroeder in the minds of some of you crazy people out there and the list goes on and on and on well one of these players that I just named apparently their asking price has come out and I'm not a fan of it, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Does this man's asking price make it a little bit easier on who we should be going for in free agency? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, but let's talk about it. Run the intro. Ah, I got to admit to y'all, it feels good to be back in the saddle what's going on ck crew it's your boy ck2k and welcome back to another video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel hit that notification bell do not forget to like this video as always people join the discord the conversations i don't know how many, how many times i gotta tell you the conversations are wild over on the discord from trade machines to rumors to whatever it may be whether it's the knicks or any nba team we talk about it in the discord so join the discord and be a part of that conversation oh yeah follow your boy on twitch we're live streaming tonight you know the vibes but yeah man there's a lot going on it is draft week this week so we will be talking heavily about the draft i have my mock that's going to be coming out actually i think i'm gonna drop my mock either on the same thursday or wednesday i also want to talk about a lot of the other options right now that's been changed around as far as who we're looking at because chris duarte is becoming a very big favorite for the new york knicks as he is climbing up the ladder boards trey murphy who when we first started talking about all this was a second round pick and now he's climbing up the ladder boards and i just talked about him briefly in the intro there's a lot of moving pieces that we need to talk about possibly us trading up and things like that but i want to talk about our initial point guard situation right now and i did mention a certain point guard who has a asking price right now that might be in my opinion a bit much for the new york knicks and that player is a favorite amongst a lot of knicks fans and that's kyle lowry obviously a lot of us were hoping that we would see kyle lowry in a knicks uniform back in 2009 2010 where kyle lowry thought he was going to be getting paid uh, entire bring truck but because of his asking price a lot of teams backed away and did not end up going after him where he settled 
for a good sum of money from the Toronto Raptors, but not to the level that he thought he was going to be getting around that time. And fast forward to the point where we are right now, we're seeing that Kyle Lowry, though he is a lot older, 35, 36, 34, something like that. Kyle Lowry being a lot older, the value is still very much there. He definitely has that ability if paired next to another all-star, um, paired next to a, a, a team of great uh, players, he still has that capability of, uh, of sending a team over and being a playoff contender. So Kyle Lowry is still a very, very hot commodity regardless of the age. But then if this rumor is true, this, with this rumor that recently came out, um, Kyle Lowry might be asking for quite a lot. And I don't know if that's something I want the Knicks to necessarily commit to, especially at Lowry. Lowry's age. His name is being buzzed all over the place from the Miami Heat, Los Angeles Lakers, the said Pelicans, and of course our New York Knicks. But like I mentioned, things got a little bit dicey when we talked about the dollar signs and precisely how much he's going to be looking for um, in this coming summer. Now, according to Woj, he expects that teams or whatever team that does end up going after Kyle Lowry, they're going to be throwing the bag at him. And I'm talking about a lot of money. This is the exact quote coming from Woj from his podcast. He said this, you're talking potentially $25 million to 30 million dollars a year for Kyle Lowry it's going to be expensive to get at him in free agency or a sign and trade y'all were tripping about giving Lonzo Ball 20 million dollars Lonzo Ball is 23 years old Kyle Lowry's asking for, looking for around a three four year deal as well for around 25 to 30 million dollars I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Again, I feel like this is the same conversation for like the Eric Bledsoe's and any kind of veteran point guard that you want to put in this conversation. If we were a team right now that just needed that one more piece to then go over the hump and we have the financial situation that we have right now, this is a no question go get them right but being where the new york knicks are at right now just making the playoffs last year getting home court and all that kind of stuff but still necessarily a younger roster with the right amount of vets around them at the very most and especially with this next season we'll make another step but i feel like the step is going to keep us at the same spot fourth and fifth and we need to keep that trajectory so long term we will be a good team I just don't see giving away all of our cap on someone like Kyle Lowry, who was up there in age. We're not sure how many of those three to four years we're going to be getting the same Kyle Lowry we're looking at right now. We don't know if he's going to have that same Chris Paul gene, even though Chris Paul, as you could tell in this series, Chris Paul was starting to fall apart as the playoffs were going on. So I just don't know if for the New York Knicks, that makes a lot of sense. I get Kyle Lowry is going to be an instant difference maker for this New York Knicks team. Kyle Lowry is one of my favorite non on Lonzo Ball choices and I was expecting that we would have to give Kyle Lowry a lot of money for maybe a two-year deal the 25 doesn't surprise me 25 26 27 does not surprise me but I was looking at that for a two-year deal but what was out here saying that it could be around 25 to 30 for three to four years for a guy like Kyle Lowry and I don't know if that's something that the Knicks can do so I look at like the Miami Heat I look like at the the Philadelphia 76ers who are looking to move um Ben Simmons I see those kind of teams being aggressive enough to do that because those teams held the heat two years ago were in the finals and the Sixers are just a point guard that can shoot away from being in the contention for this for, for the championship in the Eastern Conference those teams it makes sense for for us we need to be aggressive but to me that is overly aggressive. To me, it makes more sense to give a 19, 20 mil to a younger 23 year old point guard that's going to grow with this team and only improve each year. That I can I can co-sign no 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 doubt. Whether it is Lonzo Ball, Constance, whoever the player may be, that's easier for me to make that decision. But for someone at this age, like I get it. This guy can make a difference. Hell, he'll probably get us, you know, to the playoffs consistently every single one of those years. But that's about it. I don't know if that makes us a contender with what we have right now because we're going to be giving the majority of our cap to Kyle Lowry and then having to fill the rest with what with with players that won't make any sense and then we go right back in a hole when the contracts are up i just don't know if that's something i'm willing to do but again that's my opinion i'm here curious to hear what you guys have to say about this do you guys not see that as too much to offer to a guy that's 35 years old to give to lock into a four-year deal for 25 to 30 million dollars now it's not set in stone that he would be getting a three to four year deal but he's definitely looking as you heard from Woj and zach low on the podcast he's looking for a multi-year deal getting paid a lot of money and i mean to be real 
kind of deserved. He was a big part of the championship run two year, two seasons ago. But I don't know. To me, it's hard to do for the way that this New York Knicks landscape is right now. I have a hard time co-signing that. But let me hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below about that. But with that price point, I think that only makes it a little bit easier on which direction the Knicks go. Uh, at point guard uh, this coming season. I mean, I, I, we know that the rumors are still back and forth about the Knicks and how they feel about Lonzo Ball. We know about this Colin Sexton rumor and whatnot, but that died down a little bit as it went on. So I feel like if he's looking for a, a, a contract like that, it's going to make the decision a little bit easier. I think Dennis Schroeder, the same thing. Dennis Schroeder looking for a crazy $100 million contract, which I think turns the Knicks off unless they're able to convince him to do something else, which I don't want them to do. I don't want Dennis Schroeder. But let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. Is that too much for you guys? Or you think it's worth it? We need to get that kind of caliber point guard on the New York Knicks, regardless of the age. Let me know your thoughts about all that in the comments below. But while we're here talking about all these older players, it is draft week. So we will be talking about the upcoming and the next level players in future videos. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of content this week. And also go check Check out CK Hoops where I'll be talking about the NBA in whole. Right now, of course, we talk about the Knicks here. But I'll be talking about other scenarios for the NBA over on CK Hoops. So make sure you go show your boys some love and check out that channel as well. All right, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Let, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Join the Discord where the conversations can continue over on the Discord. Link is in the description. You see it pop up right here. I'm out of here. You know what it is. Let's get it. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be talking more about the draft maybe i'll be seeing what you guys have to say about the draft in the reddit who knows draft week baby let's get it see you on the next one Cold pizza. Tuesday. Tuesday. i got food up in the fridge y'all keep looking for that new way i think i like it how it is